हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम कीर्तकर डी बी जूनियर कॉलेज टीचर सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज कराड इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द यूजेस ऑफ पोटेंशियोमीटर द फर्स्ट यूज ऑफ पोटेंशियोमीटर टू कंपेयर ई एम एफ्स ऑफ गिवन टू सेल्स बाय डायरेक्ट और सेपरेट और इंडिविजुअल मेथड एंड ऑप्टेन वन फॉर्म्यूला एज फॉलो ई वन डिवाइडेड बाय ई टू इक्वल टू एल वन डिवाइडेड बाय एल टू बाय नोइंग द बैलेंस इन लेंथ एल वन एंड एल टू ई एम एफ ऑफ टू गिवन सेल्स टू बी कंपेयर बाय यूजिंग separate direct or individual method with the help of this formula e1 divided by e2 equal to l1 divided by l2 now in this lecture we will study the next second use of potentiometer e1 divided by e2 by sum and difference method that means comparison of emfs of two given cells by sum and difference method here e1 be the amf of first cell and e2 be the amf of second cell here in this case in this method the word sum indicates that this is symbol for emf having two plates first positive and second negative this is first cell having emf e1 Similarly, second cell having EMF E2 having two plates positive negative. Such two given cells to be connected in some method like this. A negative terminal of first cell connected with the positive terminal of next or second, or positive terminal of first cell connected with negative terminal of second. Then these cells are said to be connected in series combination or some method or axis method like this this is first cell this is positive plate this is negative plate having emf e1 negative of first connected with positive of second like this negative of first connected with positive of second and this is negative plate of second this is positive this is negative this is e2 m f of second cell such combination of cell is called as cell sin sum or assist sum method or assist method in this case the combined m f of that combination equal to e1 divided by e2 this is sum method of combination of two cells similarly difference method of combination of two cells like this connect negative plate of first cell to negative plate of next negative negative or positive plate of first cell connected with positive of next like this minus plus plus minus then the given two cells are said to be connected in difference method or opposed method sub method sometimes called as assist method difference method sometimes called as opposed method with the help of such combination sum and difference method we can compare the emfs of given two cells by this method that is e1 divided by e2 by sum and difference method this circuit diagram for determination of e1 divided by e2 using sum and difference method is as shown on the blackboard this is potentiometer wire stretched on wooden board between two points a and b having four equal segments each of length 1 meter this is the first segment of 1 meter in length second segment third segment fourth segment this is potentiometer wire ab connect a source of emf e plug e k and the rostat across the wire ab 
Here, E1 with the first cell having EMF E1, this is second cell having EMF E2. These two cells are connected in this figure. This is a four way key with which these two cells should be connected to the potentiometer wire through the galvanometer. This is the jockey which slides over the potentiometer wire from point A to B. In this case, here E A of source is always greater than E1 and E2 or E1 plus E2. This is most important condition for this method. E source of EMF must be greater than E1 plus E2. Also, connect positive terminal of source of EMF and given two cells at the point A. These are two important conditions for some end difference method. We carry this X-ray in two parts. In first part, in some method, or uh, assist method, connect given two cells in some method like this. Negative plate of first connected with positive plate of second. Here, in that method, close K, close K, close K1 and K3. Here see, in some method, close K, K1, like this, close K1 and K3 and open K2 and K4, open K2 and K4. Then, negative plate of first cell is connected in this manner to positive plate of next cell and total circuit is completed like this. In this way, we connect two given cells in some method for that close key K, close K1 and K3 and open K2 and K4. Then the given two cells are said to be connected in some or assist method. Then slide the jockey along the wire or touch the jockey along the wire from point A and obtain a point of contact D of jockey with the wire at which galvanometer shows zero deflection or null deflection. Measure the balancing length from point A to D as L1 and L1. Balancing length of wire from point A to D as L1 in some method then the follow potential across the wire of length L1 is equal to combined EMF of two given cells connected in series combination. This is combined EMF of given two cells connected in series combination. Therefore, we can write equation E1 plus E2 is equal to K into L1. For some method, E1 plus E2 equal to K into L1, where E1 plus E2 be the combined EMF of two given cells in some method, K be the potential gradient of the wire and L1 be the balancing length from point A to D at which the galvanometer shows zero deflection. This is first part of this experiment. In second part, in second part, connect given two cells in difference method, opposed method, such that negative of first connected with negative of second or positive of first cell connected with positive of next for that close k close k close k and k2 and k4 k2 k4 close keys k K2 and K4 and open K1 and K3. Open K1 and K3 like this. Close K2 and K4. That's why this negative plate of first is connected like this. In this way. 
negative of first connected with negative of second when close key k k2 and k4 and open k1 and k3 then negative of first connected in this manner to negative of second then the given two cells are said to be connected in difference of opposed method then combined emf of given two cells becomes equal to e1 minus e2 combined emf of given cells equal to e1 minus e2 and that e1 minus e2 equal to k into l2 then touch the jockey along the wire and obtain a point of contact device at which galvanometer shows zero deflection or null deflection and measure the balancing length of wire from point a to d dash as l2 therefore we write equation e1 minus e2 equal to k l2 this is equation number 2 then divide equation 1 by 2 divide equation 1 by 2 we get e1 plus e2 equal to k l1 divided by e1 minus e2 k l2 this common term k gets cancelled therefore e1 divided e1 plus e2 divided by e1 minus e2 equal to l1 divided by l2 after solving that equation we, we will get the formula e1 divided by e2 equal to L1 plus L2 divided by L1 minus L2. This is the formula for determination of E1 divided by E2 means comparison of AMFs of given two cells by sum and difference method. This is about sum and difference method for determination of E1 divided by E2. This is second use of potentiometer. How to compare AMFs of given two cells by potentiometer then third use of potentiometer is to determine internal resistance internal resistance of a set by using potentiometer we have given one cell like this this is say having two plex positive negative and emf e1 we have to calculate the internal resistance of that cell. Suppose this is RBG internal resistance of given cell. To calculate that resistance, we have to use potentiometer. The circuit diagram for the use of potentiometer to determine the internal resistance of given cell is like this. This is potentiometer wire stretch on wooden board between two common points. A and B and the X source of E F E and E K1 reverse step R H across the wire A B like this then connect the given say whose internal resistance to be calculated E1 having internal resistance R like this. This is another key K2. This is external resistance R to be connected. The common point of these two connected to the jockey through galvanometer like this. Circuit diagram for determination of internal resistance R of given cell E1 using potentiometer is like this. Connect positive terminal of given source of EMF and given cell to point A. Here, this experiment carried in two steps like this. First step, close K1 open k2 close k1 open k2 then this resistance is not in the circuit about this is p u s t 
here close k1 open k2 so this resistance is not in this circuit only the given say having internal resistance k1 having emf is in the circuit then touch this rocky along the wire a now obtain a point of contact b at which the allometer shows zero or null deflection major the balancing length of wire from point a to b as l1 then the follow potential across wire of length l1 becomes equal to emf of given sale therefore we can write some equation e1 is equal to k l1 where k be the potential gradient of wire e1 be the emf of given sale k be the potential gradient and l1 be the balancing length from point a to d when k k is closed and k k2 is k1 is closed k2 is open therefore e1 equal to k l1 then second step close k1 and k2 close k1 and k2 then this resistance r is in the circuit therefore follow potential across this resistance is nothing but terminal potential difference of this say e1 therefore then touch the jockey along the wire from point a will obtain a point of contact d dash at which the allometer shows zero deflection the major the balancing length from point a to d dash as l2 therefore we can write equation v is equal to k into l2 this equation number 2 where v will be the terminal potential difference across external resistance r therefore v is equal to k l2 then divide equation 1 by 2 we will get e1 divided by v equal to k l1 divided by k l2 k k gets cancelled equal to l1 divided by l2 suppose this is equation number 3 e1 divided by v is equal to l1 divided by l2 then consider a closed loop in this figure p q s t and apply ohm's law for complete circuit by considering internal resistance r emf of given cell e1 and external resistance r and suppose i be the steady current flowing through the circuit by considering all these things current i emf e1 internal resistance r maximum resistance capital r we can write some formula i is equal to e1 divided by r plus r ohms law apply to complete circuit or e1 equal to e1 equal to i into bracket r plus r i into bracket r plus r also by using ohms law for this resistance by considering current i potential v and resistance r we have one equation v is equal to ir suppose this is equation number 4 this is equation number 5 then divide equation 4 by 5 divide equation 4 by 5 we will we'll get e1 divided by v equal to I gets cancel R plus R divided by capital R. Equation number 6. E1 divided by V equal to R plus R divided by R. Equation number 6. And E1 divided by V equal to L1 divided by L2. Equation number 3. Then compare equation 3 and 6. Compare equation 3 and 6. We get R plus R divided by capital R equal to L1 divided by L2 divided by R R divided by R plus small R divided by capital R equal to L1 divided by L2 1 plus R divided by R equal to L1 divided by L2 therefore R divided by capital R equal to L1 divided by L2 minus 1 R divided by capital R equal to L1 minus L2 divided by L2 
And last, this R is equal to capital R into bracket L1 minus L2 divided by L2. This is the formula for determination of internal resistance of given cell by potentiometer. Small r equal to capital R into bracket L1 minus L2 divided by L2. By knowing the value of L1 and L2 and capital R, we can calculate the internal resistance of given cell R by using potentiometer in this method. This is the third use of potentiometer. Next point, there are some practical applications of potentiometer. There are three practical applications of potentiometer. Applications of potentiometer. Up to this stage, we have studied the uses. Next point, applications, practical applications of potentiometer. There are three practical applications of potentiometer. One, voltage divider. Voltage divider. Second, audio control. Third, and a sensor. Potentiometer, sliding potentiometer, especially, can be used as voltage divider, audio control, and third, as a sensor. In short, we can explain these three applications. Draw this some figure. This is potentiometer having source of EMF E, resistance R, having wire AB. This is wire, potentiometer wire AB of length L. This is potential to be divided. Connect this device. This is device. Connected with that potentiometer wire like this. This is V1, this is V2, this is L1, this is L2. The given potential to be divided by means of this potential uh, potentiometer, use of potentiometer as voltage divider. In this case, we use the potentiometer to as a voltage divider to continuously changing voltage of given supply then potential is to be divided in proportion with the length of potentiometer wire and v1 is equal to dv divided by vl into l1 and v2 equal to dv divided by dl into L minus L1. Given potential V to be divided in proportion with length of wire as V1 equal to dV divided by dL into L1, V2 equal to dV divided by dL into bracket L minus L1. This is the first application of potentiometer as voltage divider. Then second application, audio control, sliding, sliding potentiometer used in modern low power audio control system as a audio control device with the help of that potentiometer we can control different characteristic of audio signals such as loudness control and frequency attenuation this is second use of potentiometer or second application of potentiometer and third as a sensor potentiometer can be used as a motion sensor the slider of potentiometer is connected to the moving part of machine suppose there is some displacement of moving part of machine then potential is calibrated with respect to that displacement of moving part of that machine. In this way, that 
potentiometer to be used as a motion sensor. These are some practical applications of potentiometer. Then next point, advantages of potentiometer over voltmeter. Advantages of potentiometer over voltmeter. First advantage of potentiometer over voltmeter is potentiometer is more sensitive than voltmeter. Potentiometer is more sensitive than voltmeter. Second, potentiometer is used to measure potential difference as well as EMF of given cells. But voltmeter is used only to measure potential difference of given cell because voltmeter draws some current through it. So potentiometer is more useful than voltmeter. Then third,